of the Sudan Sudan war uh, Sudan conflict that is actually ongoing since the beginning of the year around April mm -hmm. so they met yesterday at State House and they they, they talk they had talks um, first of all they they agreed to um, hasten the process of, of talks that's going on in Saudi Arabia remember when the war started uh, Saudi Arabia and the United States of America came in just to facilitate the mediation process and ensure that a uh, peace is restored in the in Sudan so they met yesterday it's quite an an ironical turn of events but we are to see but they, they did agree that they're going to also initiate an eager process just to make sure they they hasten the process of uh, restoring peace in the country so far reports from uh, media reports show that about 10,000 people have lost their lives in the Sudan war and it's quite interesting to see that now the president is actually moving um, moving in to, to make amends with the with the with the Sudan leadership especially the generals who are actually who are the leaders of of, of majority of the people so the war broke when um, the, the army took over a few years ago after a coup was, uh, was done and then now when it came to tie uh, after some time they had agreed that after some time they would hand over back to the civilians but now when this came uh, this is where the conflict uh, came from so we, we're just interest is interested to see how this will pan out but of course it has um, sparked a lot of reactions online people seeing people others are supporting the president for actually being the bigger person and inviting him over to the to the state house just to have um, a conversation and calm down the whole issue but others are like why is the president meddling in other people's affairs when of course when we have our own issues back at home but uh, this is something that is quite um, it's likely to develop further and we are we are likely to see what um, what now the, the Kenyan government and the Sudan generals are, are going to do to make sure that there is peace in in Sudan Fatia Right, of course, very interesting to see the relationship between these two countries now. But I want us to move on still here in the country. There's the lady who's missing, Anne Jerry. Um, could you tell us more about what's currently developing on her reports? Okay, uh, the, the missing... The question of Anjeri missing is, 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 has not yet been answered. Remember, it came to light when one of... Um, his, one of her lawyers, uh, Cliff Ombetta, came out and, and, he, say, and she, he said Anne Jerry went missing after importing some uh, 10,000 metric tons of oil uh, to the Kenyan coast. And this was, uh, about 17, this was worth about 17 billion. So Ombetta came out and said Anne Jerry was missing after importing uh, the, the oil to, into the country. Then after importing the oil into the country, she faced some hurdles and she made a report to the port uh, police station. And actually, he provided the, the OB number showing indeed she made the report. But since then, she, after making the report, she has not been seen again. And she actually, she had actually appeared at the DCI to, to, to record a statement on the same issue. But after recording the statement, now that's when she went missing and has not been seen uh, since then. So this came into the light. And over the weekend, it was quite a big story, conversations here and there as to what happened to, to, to Anne Jerry, the business lady. But yesterday, the Kenya Ports Authority leadership, uh, including William Ruto and Tayari. Those are actually at the apex of the leadership of, of KPA. They came out, uh, held a press conference, whereby they, they actually refused, uh, refuted all claims that Anne Jerry was